I would have like a giant Adopt Me is adding a brand new Fossil Isle event update inside of the game coming very soon. If you don't know what the Fossil Isle event update is, then you're gonna be blown away. You see this helicopter? Well, everyone needs to go on it. And by taking the helicopter inside of this brand new Adopt Me event, it will go and take you to a top secret location full of volcanoes and brand new fossil themed pets. This right here looks like a shadow dragon's head as well, which might mean that we're getting something shadow dragon related in this update. The Fossil Isle update originally came out in October of 2020, nearly four years ago, and when players went and got the helicopter inside, they were given multiple mining tools, and this is something that they are intending to go and continue. You go up and select, do you want a paintbrush or do you want something to go and do some mining? There was also this character and a bunch of doctors and tons of things saying excavation in progress. And there was a T-Rex skeleton head, which resulted in us getting a T-Rex. But this time we've got a shadow dragon head. So maybe it's gonna be something related with shadows. Honestly, I have no idea, but let's keep going and checking this out. So the dig site, you need to go and use those excavation tools to go and dig up fossils. Since we're going and getting this exact similar themed update, I imagine we're gonna go and have to dig up these brand new pets. Once you dig up a pet, you go and bring it back, you hand over the fossil, analyze it, and discover what pets you could have adopted out of the fossil egg in Adopt Me. This was one of the craziest updates, one of the most hyped up events that happened inside of Adopt Me. It was literally crazy. So what is going to be happening in this brand new Fossil Isle event update? Well, let's have a look for ourselves. Starting off, we have a digging shovel, obviously, hinting towards that we're gonna have to go and dig up some new pets. And while some of those new pets have already been revealed, which I'll show you in a second. First of all, step is to go and take the helicopter onto the brand new location. Once you've gone and taken the helicopter, you'll be in this brand new area and you'll get given a pickaxe. Maybe you have to purchase this with bucks or Robux, honestly, who knows? I imagine if it's gonna be a completely bucks event, but honestly, no idea at this point. You then get your pickaxe and you see this giant area yeah, this is crazy. Look how big this is. There is a giant volcano full of lava and tons of fossils. This map looks giant. Honestly, was not expecting this. I was expecting them just to have like a little mini shop and sell a dinosaur for a little bit of Robux. But this, this is exciting. This is fun. I don't know what's going to happen, but we've got a giant storm going on as well and all of this lava and then all hand that for. Week. Honestly, we have no idea here. They haven't confirmed it, but in the video it kind of looked like it was going to be here. So maybe they'll change their mind and randomly place the new area here that says it's coming soon. Or maybe we're getting multiple updates. It's not on the countdown yet, so this update could be coming out in the future in like a couple weeks. Or it could be coming out this week. Honestly, we have no idea, Adomi doesn't like uh, giving us countdowns anymore, so we have no idea when this is going to come out. If I was Adopt Me, I would have like a giant countdown above the map saying how long until the next update. That would hype everything up, that's what used to hype up the game and everyone would go absolutely crazy when they saw a giant countdown. So we only have one of the pets revealed and it didn't really reveal much of the pet to be honest. So I decided to go to the hair salon and customize a T-Rex to a red dinosaur because we don't really have many red dinosaurs with green. I think they were red. So that is that is my guess of what the other one's gonna be. As for the other dinosaurs, honestly, I don't know what they're gonna do. They've already added a bunch of dinosaurs in the game. I mean, if we go into here and select origin and then 
find the fossil egg, if I can find it. There's too many eggs to try and scroll. Let's scroll down. Were you here when the fossil isle came out? There we go. So we got the Gionchisaurus. All of these are like green and stuff. I want a, a red dinosaur. Is it too much to ask for? We've got a woolly mammoth. We've got a triceratops. So we've got a bunch of different pets. We've got like a flying dinosaur. What we don't have is a swimming dinosaur. So we don't have one that's like from the water. So we might potentially be getting a dinosaur. So obviously a thousand. How to get all five of the new dinosaur pets in Adopt Me. The Fossil Isle is returning into Adopt Me, and this looks actually crazy. And best of all, you can get all five of these new pets without any Robux. But the question is, how do you get the pets? First of all, you've got to get to the dig site. Every single 24 hours, the dig site resets. And when you go mining, you have a chance of an item dropping. This is what the mining looks like, it's actually quite fun, and it just says you found a Velociraptor fossil. While you're mining, there is a random chance of an item to be dropped. The items that can be dropped is one of five different types of fossils, or a pickaxe upgrade, and you need those upgrades to go and harvest faster and better fossils. So the better your pickaxe, the better you're going to go and get at getting the pets. So as soon as you have enough to upgrade your pickaxe, make sure you do it straight away, as it actually takes a while to do so. This is the fossil making machine. What you need to go and do to get your pet is collect the 20 fossils and then bucks. As you can see, to go and get these dinosaurs, you need to combine different amounts of bugs with the machine. You then pay the bugs, put it into the machine, and wait for it to turn it into a pet. Or, they did say there's an alternative where you can spend 45 Robux that skips the waiting. But if I was you, I would just patiently wait and then you can go and get it. So let me go and show you what all of these pets are. Starting off with the common pet, called the Bronchiosaurus. You need to collect 20 of the ingredients or the 20 of the fossil stones and then combine it with only 25 bucks. 25 bucks is a bargain. Honestly, I don't think they've ever done a pet this cheap. So I am glad that this is a very affordable pet. This is only a common, but hey, at least this pet actually looks really nice as well. It's a pretty cool looking pet. Honestly, I thought the Bronchiosaurus was going to be like the legendary one. It just kind of looked legendary to me, but it turns out that it's actually a common, which is kind of cool. The next pet is kind of crazy because I made a video yesterday saying Adopt Me should add a red dinosaur. A couple hours later, Adopt Me adds a red dinosaur. I kid you not. Maybe Adopt Me just loves watching my videos and they decided, hey, Cookie Cutter wants a red dinosaur. We're gonna give him the uncommon Velociraptor. The harder it is to go and find those fossils in the dig site. Once you fully dug out the dig site, you have to wait 24 hours to go and do it again. So my friendly piece of advice is to use multiple accounts. Because if you have multiple accounts, you could literally be making these fossils on tons of accounts at the exact same time without having to worry about the reset. Plus it means you can transform all of those fossils into the pets at different times because you can only use one fossil machine maker at once per account. So it'll go and maximize your potential of making these pets. That pet is only an uncommon and it costs you a hundred bucks. It's a Velociraptor. This is probably my favorite one out of all of the dinosaurs, believe it or not. I just think it looks great compared to the other ones. The other ones look a bit eh. I just like red, as you can tell by my avatar probably. The next pet is the Ankylosaurus, coming in at a cost of 400 bucks plus the ingredients. And this is a rare. All right, this is a pretty cool looking pet. It looks similar to the original fossil egg pet, such as the Glymphodon, but it's different, obviously. There's so many different dinosaurs that existed, and this one is the rare rarity. It's a pretty cool looking pet, and 400 bucks isn't too bad. It's not much of a jump in price, but the next pet might be a big jump. From 400 bucks, to 1,200. Yeah, you need 1,200 bucks for the ultra rare Elamosaurus. Bro, what? I don't know what this is. The Elamosaurus. Bro, I don't know how you say this name. 
I'm just gonna call it the Dinosaur Nessie because that is literally what this looks like. It looks like they got the Nessie, you know, the pet that already exists in their dolphin. Let me go and show you it. Let me show you. I'm pretty sure this looks exactly like Nessie. Let me see. Do I have one? This is a hyped up pet. Bro, this looks like they've got a Nessie and um, just changed the color a bit and gave it a tooth. Maybe they did. Actually, no, there's, there's enough differences, okay? I don't think this is gonna lose any value from it. I mean, it's it's very similar though. Extremely similar. But hey, you gotta make similar things at some points, I guess. Let me know, do you think the Nessie is the same as whatever this dinosaur is called? No one's gonna be able to type this in the chat. They're gonna say, oh, I'm trading the Elasamorus. No one's gonna type that. Trust me, I can't spell it. Maybe your spelling's better than me. But 1,200 bucks for the ultra rare is okay. Obviously quite expensive though. Quite a bit of the jump to go and get this. Now the next, before I show you what the legendary pet is, because yes, they've gone and revealed what the legendary pet is. Let me show you something else that they're adding in this update. Sticker packs. Wait a second, sticker packs already exist. Well, what if I told you Adopt Me is doing dinosaur themed sticker packs? That's kind of surprising. I mean, the sticker packs literally just released and them going and making fossil themed sticker packs already seems kind of crazy. Like these main stickers literally came out last week and a weekend they're already making a new set of stickers. Personally, I think it's a bit soon and it will kind of ruin the little hype a little bit, but hey, it's fun. I do like it. Let's have a look at what these stickers are. You can get just different dinosaurs. This is the brand new um, uncommon Velociraptor. These are like the older pets, like the Triceratops or the Pterodactyl. These are pets that came out in the fossil egg, the original one. I think this is a Tasmanian tiger as well. I'm not sure, but I think they came out of a different egg. Adomi didn't confirm what stickers are going to be possible, but if there is an animated sticker in the dinosaur sticker pack, that will be um, kind of crazy. If it's a time limited sticker pack, which has an animated sticker, that is going to make sticker which is one in ten thousand and hungry is called a dimorphodon i think i think that is how you say it and this costs you three thousand six hundred bucks with the 20 ingredients obviously to go and get these 20 fossil bits you need to have an upgraded pickaxe to be able to go and harvest them or you could literally just buy it for a thousand robux without doing anything you can literally just straight up buy it 1000 robux and you get it in probably like the release date this update is actually coming out on friday because adopt me is doing the updates on friday now in case you want your roblox avatar to look like my